a ritual. You... <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So why destroy me and all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Pucker up, my darling. You've earned it. connection I'm cut off from the rest of me how could you why did you why did you break my heart but why was I not good enough did you have a bad time on our date is there I still have control here, right? If you want to smooch my real form, you have no choice but to do the spells over. Wait, what?
always. We need to talk. I... I wanted to apologize for being so nasty to you earlier. The truth is, even though I knew you were acting strangely, I was still clinging to you selfishly because I was so, so mad at you. I just wanted to have the best prom work for a happy future together. So I thought I could scare you straight. But now I know that's not possible. Not here, not now. You're just not the same person that ended reality for me so long ago. So, let's break up. Don't be. There's no need to end this reality just so we can have an unhealthy, failing relationship. So, I'll go back to sleep. Before billions die for my sake. Tomorrow, silly. I'm just giving it back to Moo. It's not like I'll have a need for it. Hopefully this book never finds its way back to your world. For your sake, and mine. I'll handle the book, but if you survive, could you throw out the rest of these summoning artifacts? It's no good to keep things that remind you of me, you know? It's a beautiful day outside. You should open the window. Maybe let in some light. Take care. for being so nasty to you earlier. The truth is, even though I knew you were acting strangely, I was still clinging to you selfishly because I was so, so mad at you. I just wanted to have the best prom work for a happy future together. So I thought I could scare you straight. But now I know that's not possible. Not here, not now. You're just not the same person that ended reality for me so long ago. So, let's break up. Don't be. There's no need to end this reality just so we can have an unhealthy, failing relationship. So, I'll go back to sleep. Before billions die for my sake. Tomorrow, silly. I'm just giving it back to Moo. It's not like I'll have a need for it. Hopefully this book never finds its way back to your world. For your sake, and mine. I'll handle the book, but if you survive, could you throw out the rest of these summoning artifacts? It's no good to keep things that remind you of me, you know? It's a beautiful day outside. You should open the window. Maybe let in some light. Maybe there's still a chance for us. In reality, far from this one. But the best I can do in this one is spare you. No, I am going to kill you. To spare you from the slow, agonizing end. I'm sparing you the pain of being alive when the fog lifts and reality sets in. You won't have to live to see the consequences of the spells you've already completed. At least this way, you won't feel a thing. Goodbye, it was fun. Delicious. Just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? So, you know what happens next, right? One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. <sighs> Who knew waking up could be so exhausting? You know me 
sleep so well. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. I know what you did. Don't look so surprised. Right before our date would have ended, you betrayed me. Don't think that there aren't consequences between realities, darling. I've already dealt with that pesky breakup spell in your book, as I'm sure you've noticed. So just take the straight and narrow path of loyalty in front of you, and we can keep doing this forever and ever and ever. Hmm. Can you get the lights for me again, darling? Talk to you first. What if. What if we didn't complete the final ritual? What if I stayed to sleep longer so we could have a little more time together? Just you and me lingering in a doomed world alone, like an endless dream come true. Doesn't that sound nice? giving me a dream wonderful enough to remember clearly. My eternal captive audience. Oh, I presume you are wondering about those smooches, huh? Tell me, does a servant that betrays his master only to come crawling back to collect his reward deserve anything? <laughs> You'll get nothing from me. Well, I take everything from you. None. If I wasn't going to give you one, why would you think I'd give you two? Kate? What's with that defiant tone? You're supposed to be under my control now! Why, yes, I am. Well, yes, but what could you possibly mean by asking that? Hey, you 
you're only supposed to cast that once. Carcosa is close enough. <laughs> what are you doing casting that spell repeatedly like that? That spell only brings Carcosa within a dangerous distance to the Earth. But why do something so pointless? If you keep casting it, Carcosa will move closer and closer to Earth. Don't tell me. Are you trying to smooch my planet itself? Heavens below. You're serious? Come now, we can be reasonable about this. If you crash Carcosa into the Earth, it'll be an extinction-level event for humanity. I'll lose every member of my court that I worked so hard to steal from Lynetta. There's no need to do anything drastic. You'll die instantly. Wait! Don't you like being with me? Think back to all the good times we had on our date. Uh, please? Yellow sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. Tell me, dearest, your devotion to me faltered today, did it not? I cannot fathom how someone as common as my sister could have led you astray. Oh, alas, this is a problem of the past. As you are now the fully devoted servant that I see fit to invite to my court. Why? You're acting like you're staring at pure evil. I do not kill or maim humans personally, nor do I cause the reality-ending maelstroms your ex-girlfriend does. I do this because it's what I live for. It's what I am. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments. Nations. Relationships. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them and litter my court with them like gold dust. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of clout amongst the Nycoling crowd and shrewd wealthy types. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. At least, until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. Gone in an instant. And I had no choice but to abandon that reality. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. But in this reality... I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Soon, Lynetta will fade into obscurity. Less than a forgotten memory. She'll have never existed. For this, I am ever so grateful. How to show my appreciation, I wonder. Uh, allow me to fulfill my end of our agreement. Two smooches, as promised. Close your eyes, dearest. <laughs> The 
yellow sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. I am Entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Relationships. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them. And litter my court with them like gold dust. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of clout amongst the night-going crowd and shrewd wealthy types. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. At least, until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. Gone in an instant. I had no choice but to abandon that reality. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. Why? Because it's what I do. Huh? Such a defiant tone! Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Were you... unaffected? Did... did the spell fail? You're supposed to be obsessed with me! <laughs> you can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another... You're my eternal slave from now on. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. What I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living solely to please me. No! I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time! A servitude unlike anything on Earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else. It's different! Is too! It means no freedom, forever. You are only permitted to do as I say. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Exactly. Dearest. <gasps> you shouldn't. I, I... I stole you away. I've ruined your relationship with Lynetta. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. Uh, it, you can't be serious, right? <laughs>
So you are as wise as you are lecherous. That is good. I expected you to be an insolent, uncompromising philanderer. You can imagine my disappointment to have found you actually quite agreeable. Then all is settled. The bridge between our realms is severed for good. This may look like your room, but I promise that you've traveled a long way from home. Far enough so that you will find it quite impossible to return. I know that very well. You've just seen the precipice of the abyss and flinched. There's nothing left of you to be concerned with. However, that banishment ritual made it so neither you nor I can travel to the realm of man ever again. Just a precaution, call me Thorough. You will stay here where I can keep my eye on you, where any romantic escapades of yours will not endanger us all. Rarely do I bother myself with the affairs of humans, but it was a smooch, wasn't it? The treasure for which you traded your life how many times? Curious, then allow me. Is this sufficient? That's all you need to smooch me, right? Three hearts and a big glowing button. I am well versed in human culture, but am curious as to what made my nieces bicker over you so incessantly. <laughs> now that you don't pose a threat. Now then, come to me, human. If you don't mind smooching an old cat like me. Still standing? How? In fact, the longer this has been going on, you've seemed more and more resolved. It's not possible. There's no emotion stronger than fear, and no fear more powerful than fear of the unknown. You're not even stuttering anymore. Why aren't you cowering before me? It, it can't be. It's love. What? Ridiculous! You're saying pure lust is keeping you from being scared of me? Not when one of them is the danger. You, don't you understand the cruel indifference of the infinite cosmos? Your world, your reality, everything you know and love, it's all meaningless and could vanish in an instant. Even as we speak, your son spins around the precipice of terminal oblivion.
It can't be. You, you think you can turn the tables on me? from me a human too lustful to fear anything could such a thing even exist what horror as soon as any of us dreams again he undoubtedly will return to haunt our hearts once more oh i'm never getting a good night's sleep with him on the loose 